This is the temperature you agreed to in the roommate agreement. Oh, uh, screw the roommate agreement. No, you don't screw the roommate agreement. The roommate agreement screws you. <laughs> Can I sleep on your couch tonight? Uh, well, you can try, but the people across the hall are being very noisy. He's nuts! Well, not as nuts as the guy who chooses to live with him. Believe it or not, he was worse when I met him. Oh, I do not believe that. <laughs> you are so naive. Just like I was seven years ago. I just started at the university. Excuse me, I'm, I'm looking for uh, Sheldon Cooper's apartment. Oh, I bet you're here to check out the room for rent. Yeah, run away, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dr. Cooper? No, you want the crazy guy across the hall. Yes. Yeah, uh, I'm Leonard Hofstetter. I called you about the apartment. You said to come by. I know by what I said. I know what you said. I know what my mother said on March 5th, 1992. <laughs> what is the sixth noble gas? What? You said you're a scientist. What is the sixth noble gas? Uh, radon? Are you asking me or telling me? <laughs> telling you? <laughs> telling you. All right. Your room. You may want to repaint. Okay, how about this? Let me tell you about the first time I brought a girl over. Leonard. Shh, just pretend we're not here. Leonard. I'm sure he'll go away. I'm just gonna keep knocking till you answer. I didn't say come in! I'm here because you violated our roommate agreement, specifically section 8, visitor subsection C, females, paragraph 4, coitus. <clears throat> Roommates shall give each other 12 hours notice of impending coitus. I didn't even know her 12 hours ago. That's it. I'm out of here. But Joyce, come on. 12 hours? <laughs> Oh, my God. Mm, Joyce Kim was kind of curious about what I did for a living, and I was going to kind of show it to her. <laughs> Won't work. Excuse me, but I've been working on this a long time. Trust me, it'll work. You don't see your mistake, do you? There's no mistake. This is for a full-scale rocket, not a model. Well, I I've adjusted the formula. Not correctly. <laughs> okay, I've had it with you. You might be an expert on theoretical physics and science fiction programs and where to sit on a freaking couch, but this is applied physics. And when it comes to applied physics, uh, uh, oh. What's happening? A bad thing, a very bad thing. Give me that. Uh, what'd you do that for? I had plenty of time. Not only did Sheldon save my life, he didn't rat me out to the landlord, or the police, or Homeland Security. Okay, so basically you're the reason I have to walk up and down three flights of stairs every day? So I did something stupid. I'm sure you did stupid things when you were younger. What were you doing seven years ago? Excuse me, I was in high school. Studying, keeping my nose clean, doing volunteer work for the community. <laughs> Not pregnant! Yes! <laughs> 